Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Micah, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is my hobby YouTube channel, and I like to t talk about all things makeup and fashion on here. And today, as you can see, I've got a fashion related video. We're going to talk jeans, and this is going to be a little bit differently from the other sort of like look in my wardrobe kind of videos that I've been doing, because today I'm actually going to be trying loads of things on. Hence the white t-shirt. I've got some shoes here as well so I can show you some of these things on. However, I have quite a few jeans in like different categories that are very similar. So I won't be trying on each and every pair, but just to show you samples of what I've got going on. To also be helpful, I am quite short. I'm only five foot one, in case you're wondering. That's about one meter, one meter and 56 centimeters if you're using the metric system. So I'm quite petite and I've got quite an apple shape, meaning that some jeans just look better on me than others. <laughs> so that's why I thought I could talk you through, and especially in 2021, now that jean styles are really starting to change, I've been having loads of fun trying out new things and seeing what suits me, what's going on. I've got some different brands in here as well, and I definitely have favorites when it comes to jeans. Uh, so I want to talk to you about that as well. So why is something my favorite, etc., etc. So let's get this intro wrapped up and let's talk about jeans. This is how I store my jeans. I have these wire baskets that come that are from Ikea. They come with storage units that they sell. And this is one where I've sort of kept them in for the video. <laughs> so I've got all of my skinny jeans in here, my flares and my cords. So let me talk to you about those. So I'm gonna talk, start talking to you about skinny jeans first. And of course, 2021 is the year the skinny died officially. However, I'm a pathetic millennium, millennial, I'm not gonna lie. And I do still think there is a purpose for skinny jeans in my wardrobe. However, I have found that since like, well, since the start of the pandemic, really, I haven't really worn a lot of skinny jeans. The only time I really wore them was when it was really, really cold and I needed a pair of jeans that I could easily tuck into boots to not get them splattered with like snow and stuff. So I still see purpose for these, which is why I didn't declutter or just get rid of all of these because I've got my staples. I love jeans that have this like really nice rich indigo color, like a true denim shade. And all of the ones that I have are by Topshop and that's going to be a brand that you're going to see a lot in every single category. I think apart from like the longer like puddle styles that you see currently, there I've got some other brands going on, but I've got Topshop in every other category of this jeans collection and that's because they are affordable, they do loads of different sizes and they do loads of different colors and styles. So I feel that Topshop is probably best when it comes to like how much they cost and how long they last as well. I bought my first pairs of Jamie jeans. That is the skinny that I'm holding up and all of the skinnies I have, they are all Jamie jeans. And Jamie jeans are uh, a little bit stretchy uh, and they also do a petite range, which is actually uh, really good for me because they come in a leg length 28. So that's what I usually go for. Most of the sizes I have either a waist 32 or 30 and then usually the shortest leg length that is possible. So it's usually a 28 or a 30 if the jeans don't come in a 28. Uh, and there are a few exceptions, of course, but most of my jeans are like waist 30 or 32, and then uh, a leg length 28 or 30. That's what I mostly go for. Um, so yeah, these are actually from the petite range. And I like that because then they have that little bit of a crop. And then actually for the first time in my life, when I tried Topshop petite range skinny jeans, I found jeans that actually hit me at the spot where they're meant to hit. <laughs> so I know that a lot of people who are tall say like, oh, if you're short, it's super easy because you can always cut parts of your trousers. Only the problem is that very often it will mess up the flow of your garment if you simply hack off like a good 10 centimeters of the bottom. That's like about four inches. That's usually what I need to take off if you know, if I need to shorten them. And that's quite a lot and it kind of messes with the proportions, making them not right. And if you can actually find jeans in a petite, then the proportions have been put into the garment and it just looks a lot better. So that's why Topshop Petite is 
one of my favorite things to shop from. However, Topshop went bankrupt in 2020. So I definitely had a little bit of a like scramble, like, oh no, are they gonna disappear? You can still find Topshop on ASOS. That's where they sell them now. But as you will see in a minute, I have one pair of ASOS jeans and they're not my favorite. So I'm afraid that the quality of Topshop jeans under the ASOS flag is going to change. So that's why I now sort of have everything I kind of need. <laughs> and uh, that's sort of what instigated my scramble for finding good jeans in 2021. But yeah, skinny jeans, I don't wear them a lot anymore, but if I have to pick, I'm gonna go for Topshop Jamie jeans. So let me show you this pair. So I've angled you down just a little bit, so hopefully you can see these jeans a little bit better. So this is what they look like on. I really like them. I just, I hadn't put on skinny jeans in such a long time, you guys. So uh, I do think that with this, you do have to tuck your shirt and like make it a little bit more wearable, but this is what those Topshop skinny jeans look like, the Jamie jeans. All right, so next up, we're talking about another category, and I think a pair of jeans a lot of people can look good in, and that is a pair of flares. These are also from Topshop. I've got three pairs. I'm holding up the darkest pair I have, but I also have one pair on, which is more of a stonewash vibe. This, this pair in particular is again from the Petite range, which means I can wear this one with flats. The one I have on is from their regular range, and flares usually need to come uh, up on you a little longer to really get that elongation of the legs so I can only wear these with particular shoes <laughs> not gonna lie but I can make them work if I wear a pair of heels but with these I really like that they also did them in a petite because especially with flares you can't just take off a lot from the bottom if you're a petite because then the the flare just isn't there um, so that's a that's a good thing to know that if you can find them. These are the Jamie flared. I'm not sure if they still do them. And then finally in here, I also have a pair of kick flares. These are the Drees from Shop, Top Shop. Again, bought these years ago. I don't know if they still do them. These are a mid rise and they are the only pair of jeans I have that aren't high rise. I prefer a high rise pair of jeans on me because I have a little bit of an apple shape. I want my jeans to come up as high as possible so everything is nicely like sucked in by my jeans and I don't get any weird cutoff points. My uh, waist, which if you have an apple shape, you don't have much of a waistline, but I like to accentuate it and it's up quite high, which is why I like high rise jeans. The higher up, the better, as you will see. Um, but the Drees are a pair of click flares. So the flare on this isn't humongous, and these also need to come up a bit more cropped, so that if you wear a higher ankle boot, that you can actually see it. And I never had that effect. I thought everybody was talking about kick flares, and they would always come on like at a weird spot on me, like the crop just wasn't right. And then of course, Topshop did, it, did them in a petite, and they do fit. But what did I put on for you guys? I put on my pair of actual flare jeans. And I like to wear these with my, whoop, I'm not sure if you could see that, <laughs> but my bright red uh, boots from River Island. And they have a bit of a point. And that is a look that you need to like, a point that comes out of a flare, I quite like. However, if you go for a more rounded toe shoe, then uh, your flare is a little bit more streamlined. Uh, a point will cut off this, the flare. So it depends on what kind of streamlining you like, but I really like this like stonewash sort of vibe with the red poking through. So that's the Topshop Jamie's flared in the full length. And then we've got a section that's not really jeans, but I keep them with my jeans because they kind of work for me in only like a certain season, uh, which is my corduroy pants. These are all from Monkey. I feel that Monkey does the best range of corduroy pants. So I have it in a really nice tobacco shade, which is perfect for like this season. And they're like a very like wider leg, which is lovely. And I also have that in a navy, but then that navy is also a little bit more flared almost. It's more of a wide leg. So the, the brown ones are more of a straight and these are a bit wider. And then the black ones that I have are more like a skinny, um, like a mom jeans almost where they have a high waist and then they taper down a little bit more. 
and you will see in an upcoming haul that I actually purchased a very similar pair to this in a dark green, which is a nice color to add, I think. Um, and then we need to talk about some jeans that I hope to declutter. Uh, there's four pairs where I'm like, do they still really serve a purpose in my wardrobe? And I actually feel that way about perhaps one more. There's two here that I know I will declutter because I've either bought things that I like better or that I just don't really wear. Uh, there's two pairs that I do kind of wear, but I feel they're not perfect. So I kind of need an opinion on that. So those two I will put on for you. Um, the two pairs that I'm going to get rid of are these two. These are a pair of stark white straight leg jeans from Topshop. Uh, they're very simple, very white, but they're so white that they kind of hurt your eyes. And what I've actually done, as you'll see in a minute, is that in recent years, I've also been trying some other brands and I actually found a pair of more off-white straight leg jeans from weekday and I like the shade of that much better. And these I've actually never worn out of the house because I find the shade of white so difficult to style up. Whereas the ones from weekday, I've already worn twice since I bought them and I only got them this year. The infamous Zara jeans. You'll find that this is the only pair of Zara jeans I own. I decided to try Zara jeans for the first time this year they fit, I wore them, I've washed them, and I've decided that they're not worth it. So Zara makes some very affordable jeans, and I heard some people raving about them, saying how good they are, and from the get-go, I've had issues with the quality of this garment, the way it is made. You can just tell it's cheap. Um, and if you don't, if you just wanna not spend that much on, on jeans, I get it. Um, but you can tell from the way the zipper is made, it's very sort of difficult to get it up. The stitching feels very sort of weird. The fabric is sturdy, it's a 100% cotton, but it feels just a little too dense almost, like there just isn't that much attention to detail here. And what I found, because I sort of kept this out of an order where I actually got 10 pairs of jeans to see which ones I would like. And what I have found is that instead of like, making a yarn and then using it to put the jeans together. I think what Zara does is they make the same color jeans and then they sort of stamp the print on. So the washing isn't actually part of the fabric, it's a print. And from up close, you can really tell. So from a distance, you can't really see it, but I just feel that this is just, it's just a bit cheap. It's not my vibe. And I don't know, I wore these ones to try them out and I also didn't feel great in these. So the next pair of jeans I've already put on for you. This doesn't have any pockets, which annoys me. And this is a pair of wide leg trousers from H&M. I'm not sure if you can see them really well, um, but these are just, again, not the best quality. They were also quite affordable. And I feel they kind of, because they are very cheap, they're very stretchy, I feel they're not too fluttering around here. Um, but I know that if I were to wear my top over it, and then for instance a cardigan, I could potentially make these work. So I kind of need an opinion on these. What do you guys think? Should I keep these? And then the next pair of jeans that I want to talk about is another pair. I'm like, should I color these, yes or no? This is one of my first pairs of straight leg jeans that I ever bought, together with the white ones from Topshop. Uh, and they're a black, but they're not a true black, they're a wash black. And that's why I'm like, do I like these? Yes or no? Right, and now we're getting to what I've got going on on this rail for you. And this section, including the pair I'm wearing, represents my straight leg jeans. I remember finding good straight leg jeans a couple of years ago. And ever since, my skinnies have sort of slowly but surely found their way into storage rather than really wearing them a lot. Because straight leg really made me realize that if I go for something that's perhaps a little bit more straight, but that doesn't have a lot of stretch, because that's, that's the thing. I know a lot of people love stretchy jeans. I do not. The reason why was represented by that H&M pair I just showed you, because it kinda shows everything around here. But these, because they are sturdy, they really flatter my shape a lot more, and I don't get any weird bulging or, you know, visible panty lines or anything like that. I don't have to deal with any of that. 
and that's why I really like sturdy 100% cotton jeans like the ones I'm wearing. I'll get to the ones I'm wearing in a minute, but as you can see, my straight leg collection <laughs> is quite extensive. Let me quickly tell you about these. Um, this is a pair that I exclusively wear in the spring-summer season because it is stretchy and because it is a thinner fabric. So where I like this thicker fabric for most of the year, when I still want to wear jeans when it gets a bit warmer, um, I tend to go for these. And these are made well. I bought these when I was in New York. Fall 2019, anyone? <laughs> and I don't know what this style is called anymore. Oh, it says here that these are the high rise slim crop boy jean. So they are high rise, they are a slim cut, so they have a bit more of a taper. So this is probably my like step into mom jeans, because we'll get to mom jeans in a minute. Um, but this was sort of like bridging the gap between straight leg for me and because of the way these are made, they are very comfy. And I would definitely, if I ever find myself in the US again, I would go to Madewell to buy another pair of jeans because I really like them. But I can hear you thinking, Micah, what about that very famous jeans brand, Levi's? Got those as well. I've got some more actually. Uh, I discovered Levi's with these. I actually did own a pair of 501s like way, way, way back in the day and they got too small. And since Levi's over here can be quite expensive because it's all imported, I did decide again in 2019 when I was in New York to buy myself a pair of wedgies. These are their straight leg. I believe they are the 501 wedgie officially. They're like a 501, but like tailored more to like a feminine shape, I believe. And I fell in love with these so much because I was wearing them loads that I decided to get the 501 cropped in the very light wash. And then we get to the pair I'm wearing right now and that I'm also holding up because I have this also in two colors. And these are the BDG, which is Urban Outfitters brand of jeans. Urban Outfitters makes some great, great jeans and they do a leg like 30. So I'm super happy with that. And actually what got my straight leg jean craze started is this baby right here, the Axle jeans. They no longer make them. They now call them the Packs. And I believe that these have also been discontinued because Urban Outfitters tends to go very trendy very quickly with their jean styles. So right now everything they do seems to be like puddle jeans or whatever. I can't really find any straight leg jeans on there anymore. Um, but yeah, these are the packs. And I bought these because I love these guys so much. These are really soft, really, really buttery smooth. And especially after a couple of wears, the fabric just really softens up, even though these are 100% cotton. They are sturdy, they, but they are still very lovely. They feel very stiff straight from the wash, um, but once you wear them like a few times, they really start to loosen up. So I would also recommend not washing these too often, like with a pair of actual like sturdy Levi's. You don't want to chuck them into the wash after every single wear time because it will make your jeans last much longer if you try to go like at least 10 wears without washing them. Like I, I work as a teacher, so unless I spill coffee all over myself, I don't get dirty, so to speak. So I can just air them out and then wear them again. And then you really feel like after a day or two, these are just the, like just, they're still nice, they're figure hugging, but they're still very comfortable even though they are sturdy cotton. I'm first gonna talk about this <laughs> because this is the only odd one out. I already mentioned I only have one pair of ASOS jeans and it's these ones. These are the Farleys. Uh, are these officially straight leg? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that I bought years ago. And the only reason why these get to stay is because they're light gray and I don't own any other pairs of gray jeans. So if I wanna have that moment and I wanna go for a gray, I like this because it's not quite white as you can see against my white t-shirt, but they're light, but they're also not blue. Yeah, ASOS jeans I don't love. 
Um, the Farleys, I know a lot of people rave about these, but I find them too stretchy. They start falling down really easily on me and they're just not perfect for my body type. However, what ASOS does very smartly, again, they have a petite range, and what I have seen them do as well is that they now do jeans specifically for people with more curves. So I just mentioned Topshop, and I do have some straight leg jeans from Topshop as well. Um, this is my favorite pair, the more like stonewash pair with the raw hem. Uh, these ones I haven't even worn yet, and I actually sort of view these as my replacement for the black washed pair. I got these in the sale for like really cheap. These were only 15 euros. And I really like the wash on these. It's like a black and blue with a bit of gray running through it. And it really looks like you've been rolling through the mud with these. But I do really like these. I just haven't really found a way to style these up yet. Last but not least, I've got Weekday in the straight leg category. And Weekday is a brand I discovered this year. This is their Voyage style. And I have found that as a petite, I cannot shop weekday in store. I have to go online because there you can see the leg lengths that are available. And lo and behold, in weekday, I need a waist, li waist size 33 and a leg length, hold your horses, 26. They do 26 and weekday pants are really really long. They are made for tall Europeans, really. So if you're short like me, it's not going to work. I have them in this really nice stonewash uh, vibe, and then this is the replacement of that white pair of Topshop jeans I showed you. All right, so you can already see this a little bit in the viewfinder, but we're now heading into mom jeans territory and a bit of fun, because what is really hype and happening right now isn't just one pair. Why, why not have just one color in your jeans? Why not have two or more? These are from Monkey. These are their Taiki jeans, if I'm not mistaken. And these are lovely. And I really wanted to try Monkey because I love their corduroy so much. And I was like, they must be able to do good jeans. However, for a very long time, I found that Monkey was way too long. But now they do mom jeans. And what's so fun about mom jeans is that you can roll them up very easily. And also in mom jeans, this pair from Urban Outfitters that isn't just two-toned. But it's color blocked, <laughs> which I think is really fun. So here you do get different um, pockets, which I love. And these are in a much darker, deeper wash than the ones from Monkey are, so I feel they're very different. And I was looking for mom jeans on Urban Outfitters and then I spotted these. They did only come still in a leg length 32 when I bought these, but I was like, they're mom jeans. I can roll them up, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, so let's continue the mom jean craze because this is what I fell in love with. Um, in the past, I think, year or so. I got my first pair, these ones, from Topshop at the end of summer 2020, and I've been wanting to wear nothing else, which is why I now have quite a few, and I, this is also where my I want to try different brands kind of thing came in. So you just saw me wearing a pair of Urban Outfitters jeans, and that's what I'm wearing now as well. So these are their mom jeans in a vintage wash. And I love these. I wore these the other day to work, so I put these on so I don't forget them to actually put them back into my hamper because these were in the wash. So I need to put them back in, so that's why I put these on for you. But I have another pair by Monkey here. Uh, these are their Kimomo um, jeans, and these are just a touch lighter than what I've got going on here. And then I have the Lash from Weekday, and I remember putting these on and I was like, oh, this is the perfect wash. This is my perfect wash of mom jean. Um, and they are just really simple, really basic. These do come in a leg length, uh, what was it, 28? So these have a different leg length than the Voyage, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, these do come in a 28 as well. So I did get that size and it's perfect because again, I would roll them up and these I did have to size up again in the waist a little bit. These are a size 33 waist rather than a 32, which is what every other pair of mom jeans in my collection have. My two newest pairs, because I was like, I love mom jeans, 
but I bought most of them over the springtime and then I like to wear more like lighter washed denim and now for like the winter season I was like I want that dark more indigo kind of thing so I got this pair I think I got them off of ASOS from Dr. Denim which is a brand I hear a lot of people raving about uh, but I've never tried them these are their Nora jeans and I just thought that this was the best like true blue kind of denim shade and then I spotted these on Levi's but these are kind of not mom jeans these kind of bridge the gap between mom jeans and the next category I will be showing you because these are their high loose taper jeans so they taper down like mom jeans but they're very baggy in the leg they almost kind of have this kind of shape almost like a balloon but not quite in Levi's I'm a waist 30 and a leg length 27 by the way so they're the Levi's sizing is a little bit more generous I find uh, so I'm a size 30 in all of those we're gonna round off the mom jean section with the OG Topshop because when I bought this pair of mom jeans from Topshop, Topshop through ASOS I fell in love with mom jeans this is the instigator it's a really nice light wash so great for the summertime and I wore these so much, even in lockdown. These are the jeans that got me to wear jeans again, even though I didn't really want to wear jeans because I was sitting at home the entire time. So this is the pair of jeans I found comfortable enough to even wear working from home and doing things like that. So for me, Topshop mom jeans were just a revelation. So that's why I now have a black pair, a regular blue pair, and a white pair that is still wet because I just took these out of the wash um, because I'm doing laundry as we speak. So yeah, these uh, are a little worse for wear, so I won't show you those, but yeah. These Topshop mom jeans were just great and Topshop, I, I can't rave enough about them enough. They do some really excellent jeans at an affordable price point. So if you want good jeans, but you don't want them to break the bank, you don't have to go into a Levi's or anything like that, Topshop is a really good one. And finally, my sort of latest discovery are uh, the more like oversized baggy jeans, the Y2K 90s jeans that you see a lot of people raving about. Now I grew up in the 90s, so it's kind of like a flashback for me. And I remember my biggest struggle when I was a teenager was to find jeans that weren't too long on me. Everything was always too long. I was always having to ask my mom to take my pants up. I now have a couple of tricks of how I can do that myself. So I've got a couple of different things going on here, but most of these are H&M, which is a brand we haven't really talked about much yet because H&M and jeans, I never really thought they were doing really good things. And then this spring, they started launching some really good things. So let me show you these. Right, and these are the first pair I wanna show you. These are the H&M 90s Loose High Jeans. They're from the Divided line. And one of the things I love about these is how high waisted these are. These jeans hit pretty much like the bottom of my bra. Like these are ribcage jeans, you could say. I did have to take these up. I did cut off about 13 centimeters from the bottom to make them fit with a pair of flat white sneakers because I would wear these jeans with sneakers mostly. Um, so I wanted them to be really nice and loose and baggy and just that sort of puddle style. And I've kept the hemlines raw. I didn't stitch them back together. I just sort of cut them off and I thought that that really suited these like really light wash jeans. Jeans, H&M jeans are as expensive as Zara ones, but I feel that these are much, much better quality. <laughs> then I have this pair and this is the pair that actually kicked off uh, my uh, love for H&M jeans. This is the reason why I like, looked into some more. This one I didn't crop. I did it. I kept these long and then they look a little bit more like a like not as flared as the Jamie flares but I could pull them off as a flare so I do have to wear these with higher heels and then they work perfectly and I just love the wash and again this made me realize that H&M can actually do good denim. But guess what? H&M does petite sizes too. Um, they have a separate tab now on their uh, website where it says petite, so check that out. 
and the main thing they do are bottoms and they do a lot of jeans so when I found these like uh, baggy style like 90s jeans I was like yup and these kind of fit the way these fit but then you see a little bit more of the shoe so these kind of cover the entire shoe you only really see the toes when you walk but with these I feel you can see a bit more of the shoe so I really like these so even though the sort of um, shades like the washings of these are quite similar um, they're all different lengths so one is a bit longer this is a bit baggier a little bit more high-waisted and this is still high-waisted but not as high-waisted as these ones are and these are just perfect to be wearing with sneakers but then I found out that Arquette does some really nice denim too and this is another baggy style but in more of like a blue denim like not as light of a wash that's one of the things that I find a bit annoying about this new jeans trend is that they don't really do lots of nice dark washes it's all very sort of light to not even mid-tone it's all like light washes and I'm like mm, I'm not entirely sure I'm not sure what this is called anymore but the name is in the pants these are their tapered organic cotton jeans and these are lovely the only problem with Arquette is that they don't do leg lengths everything is the same length so I did go for a cropped style and then they are still quite long on me so again that's why I keep these with these jeans because this is just a slightly different wash as you can see here it's many shades darker than the ones I'm wearing so this is again going to be great for the fall, fall winter season and finally we can't do a jeans collection video without talking Levi's 501 these are going to be worn and shown to you in all, of the, all their glory uh, in an upcoming haul because these are this is one of my most recent jeans purchases and I found these second hand at a vintage kilo sale they're not true vintage Levi's I think they were made in like the last decade or so and they did have a bit of a snag in the bum area but I was able to stitch it back together just fine and these are men's Levi's 501 so these aren't even women's jeans so these are really loose really baggy super slouchy I really like the look of them and if you would like to see these on if you go over to my blog and you find last Friday's blog post you can really see an outfit where I actually style these up uh, because I have already been wearing them ever since I bought them because I instantly fell in love so there you have it, all of my jeans, all of my tips and tricks also for when you're petite and what you can do. And I hope that by showing you some of these on, that I can also give you an idea of what things look like if you're a bit vertically challenged like I am. And if you have a apple shape, that these are all jeans that I feel work on me and I hope I was able to showcase that for you. Um, so yeah, lots of jeans in this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, that it was useful to you, that you learned something today, that's my hope. Uh, so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week and I chuck in some fashion content twice a month, that's like my aim. And next month I'll be doing my fall haul as well as a fall lookbook where I will be styling up some of those items. So. I hope you would like to stay tuned for all of that goodness and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day everybody, take care, bye bye.